Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen today talking about VoIP and VoIP, face over IP and voice over IP with some general information, tips, troubleshooting and setup advice that you can use in the PTU now and hopefully for 3.3 in general when it goes live. Um, these both seem to be working now in the PTU builds of 3.3.0s. Um, so I'm just going to give you some general best possible experience tips. VoIP calibration tips before you load Star Citizen. So using whatever form of camera controller that you have, and I'll try to link some generic controllers down below if you don't have anything and you can't work out how to do it, you want to potentially zoom into your face slightly. So this gives me much better results. You don't want to zoom in a huge amount, but because this will make your camera effectively at a lower resolution, but having the camera closer to your face is the best possible option. But if you can't do that, and then zooming in uh, may give you better results. So also you want your camera as flat to your face as possible. You don't want it angled up or down uh, unless you have to for some reason. Um, try to have your face illuminated. Uh, the more illumination you have, the better, unless it's like brighter than the sun. Uh, and if it's too dark, then obviously your features won't be detected very well. Unless it prevents your face from being detected, um, you want to turn off any low light and backlight modes your camera has. Uh, this is because um, those low light modes will reduce your frame rate on your camera. The higher the frame rate, the higher resolution, the better. Make sure the autofocus on your camera is off as well. Otherwise, uh, you'll get odd things happening with your face. Now, let's go to in-game calibration. So go to options and com settings tab, toggle FOIP on, then press the calibrate button. The face you are making when you press calibrate is what the game thinks your resting face is. And that is literally what you want your resting face to be. So look at the center of your screen before you press it um, and relax your face to a reasonable extent. Um, it doesn't have to be the center of your screen. It can be whatever you generally look when you're playing, I suppose. Avoid trying to look directly into the camera because you're not gonna be constantly looking into the camera when you're playing. Also make sure your face is unobstructed as possible by just random things in the way. It does work with glasses and that sort of stuff, but you can get odd results. Once you have kicked calibrate, you can close the calibration window. You may have to alt tab to do that, but literally a little uh, camera window will appear behind Star Citizen's window. And sometimes it literally tabs you to it. And sometimes you have to do it yourself. Um, you can now go to the character customization screen to see what you look like in game when using VoIP. However, this actually seems to be overly sensitive, this screen, and when you're in-game, it does work a bit better. Um, you may notice that your lips are a bit odd, like overly pursed, or your eyes are too wide or too squinty. This is because your face, um, the kind of face that you made when you press the calibrate button, um, might not be your resting face. Or um, it, it's, something's happened, to the, like the angle you were looking or whatever. So if your character is consistently squinty when you press calibrate, try squinting your eyes very slightly when you click calibrate because then your resting face um, basically will open your eyes slightly more. You see what I mean? If you look super surprised all the time, then try opening your eyes slightly more when you press calibrate. So it thinks that your eyes are slightly open normally. And then when you close your eyes, you, you, you'll have normal eyes. If your lips are too pursed, try pursing them um, slightly when you press it. Basically, um, if you have an issue, try doing the thing that your camera is makes your face look like very slightly and that should fix it. Some other tips, if you're on Windows 10, then make sure that in the privacy settings on Windows that your webcam and microphone are both toggled on to be used by other apps. Star Citizen also needs exclusive access to your camera so it can't be used for something like streaming your face on OBS at the same time. VoIP, so voice over IP stuff. Now, make sure your default Windows microphone is the one you want to use in game. Open your Mobi Glass and go to the Com Link tab at the bottom left once you're in game. You can join a channel on the left column. You can turn on the microphone and speak symbols. Um, sort of like, I suppose, the speaker symbols at the top right-ish of the window. Uh, you may need to press the bell icon on and off. Um, it's buggy in the PTU. That might have been fixed by now, actually, thinking about it. I haven't had to do that last couple of times I've done it. Um, numpad plus is the default push to talk button. You can rebind that in options, key bindings, advanced cust controls, customization, social, general, and push to talk. 
voice over IP will be able to broadcast in a few ways locally to a group or uh, to a specific person on a call. You'll still need to push the push to talk button whenever you talk though. Global chat works more reliably for me. If you can't hear someone um, in your like group chat, then go to global chat and then go back to party chat. You literally just click on them to go to them. And you also notice that sometimes at the top of the screen, the speaker and the microphone have been disabled again. You have to make sure that they are both turned on when you move party. Also, VoIP has a range and being within the same strut on Port Olisar or physics grid affects it, it seems, as well as being too far away. So um, if you're too far away from someone, you might not be able to hear them at all, or it might be choppy, uh, 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 that sort of thing. It's supposed to be diegetic, so if you're dead or respawning, you're not going to hear any communications at all. Now, if you can join a party before you get into game, that's the best possible option for joining a party. In the PTU, you should avoid adding people to the party when you're in game, unless it's them directly in front of you and you're using the uh, hold F to interact mode to invite them to party. Basically, there's lots of crashes that you can get by inviting them via the comms menu, but that will be fixed in live build. Hopefully that will be fixed very soon in the PTU. Oh, is that you? That could be you. It may be me. I'm, I'm crouching. Crouch check, crouch check. Crouch check crouch indeed. Check. Yeah, yeah, mate. Jump check, jump, jump check, jump check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my heart rate is dangerously high. I hope that helps some of you get a better experience out of VoIP and FOIP. I will update this guide if something changes massively in the PTU or when the build goes live. There might be better calibration options for all we know, that sort of stuff. If you've got any tips or advice on VoIP or VoIP, then please put them in the comments below. That would be super helpful. We can build some sort of guide. I will also maintain something on the boardgamer.co.uk website just for the best possible experience for these features because they are pretty cool and I love the fact they work. At the moment, you can't really communicate locally unless it's on the global chat. And what I mean by locally is that once you take your, like, your helmet off, people will literally be able to hear you in the local area if they've got the be able to listen to the VoIP thing on. But at the moment, that doesn't work. Global chat works, though. Uh, group chat works, though. Uh, and eventually, proximity-based audio will work as well. But it will be working in the same way. So just bear that in mind. You will hear, once you're on the microphone or whatever, when you've got your helmet on, uh, when you're in space, when you're distanced to each other, you will hear that sort of, like, um, added compression and a sort of, like, ah, psh, psh, comms sound. I'm not sure what that sound was, but that was me trying to do a comms sound. You know, it sounds like you're on a speaker. My radar have provided a new Anvil Valkyrie to give away. All you need to do is to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and then comment on any of my Star Citizen videos made during October. My radar is a mobile app for iOS and Android that provides up to the minute weather information in the US, Europe and Japan with service in Australia coming in the by the end of 2018. It allows Star Citizen players to view detailed maps of the moons in game as well. Yella, Selin and Daymar. A new version will be released this month that includes new features including outpost markers and updated maps. Today's video is brought to you by F-Secure Total premium cyber security for you and your devices. It includes safe and award-winning internet security suite, protecting you from ransomware viruses and while browsing the web. Freedom VPN giving you net privacy, a way to access otherwise inaccessible content while being secure and anonymous even on public Wi-Fi. Key, a password manager, allowing you to store your passwords securely and access them from any device. Total protects you and your device. You can try F-Secure Total, Internet Security and Privacy Suite free for 30 days. You can also use the code BoardGamer to get 20% off a subscription. Check out the links below for more information.